Hey, welcome back to The Ready State. Usually when we mobilize, we've got three ideas, right? The first one is, hey, I've got something painful. How do I desensitize and reperfuse that? Okay, that may be a, a first one, right? How do I get rid of the pain? Second one is, hey, how do I reduce the session cost? How do I enhance recovery, enhance adaptation, so that I can sort of swallow down that adaptation uh, and make it more effective so that I'm less sore and better able to handle that and train again hard tomorrow. And the third reason is to mobilize for position. So we use mobilizations as what we call position transfer exercises. So if you're using the third, improving position, the question is, I know I should mobilize, but what do I do? How, when, what, what is it? So the easiest way to think about this is to choose one of the movements that you did for the day. So let's say that we have a whole bunch of things planned, but specifically I'm trying to go overhead today, right? This overhead position. The question is, what's the start position and what's the finish position? So if I'm pressing, maybe that's from a front rack position, or if I'm snatching, the start position is in this hang shape, right? So what ends up happening is that I can look at my start position and finish position, and all I need to do is maybe work on one of those instead of all of them and choose one aspect. So I might be working on the start position, or I could just say, hey, I'm going overhead today and I'm gonna work on finish position. So what we're trying to do is more closely conjoin what the movements that we did in training with the things that we want to improve. And I think that this is an easy way to wrap your head around this monstrosity of, of, of self-actualization of trying to improve your position mechanics by giving it context, by giving you sort of relationships. And when you're working with a big group of people, one of the th nice things about working on start position, finish position, is that everyone stops thinking about shoulders and pecs and biceps and lats and shoulder caps and they start to think, I like to go overhead, that made it easier to go overhead, that's an overhead mobilization. So we end up signing a mobilization or an improvement of position to a movement which mean, gives it context. So people care about it because it's actually improving on the things that they want to care about, which is PRs, deadlifts, uh, going faster, improved wattage. So start position, finish position are the, the, the benchmarks or the roots of being able to improve our shapes and give context to our daily mobilization practice. 10 minutes a day of improving a shape you just trained can go a long ways to improving the system when you aggregate that into 70 minutes a week. Good luck.